Hello friends, this is Sanjeev Kaushik and welcome to my channel Methodical Trades. In this video, what I'm about to share with you is the most requested video on my channel. So without any further ado, let's get started and learn how we can assign trailing stop loss to our existing options positions. So here we go. So I've got a few options positions open. So I'm going to put on this one, which is a futures options position right but just because it's a futures options doesn't mean that it's going to work any differently it's still your uh, regular option and i simply say close i always prefer to do it this way so that i don't have to bother about the quantity so the quantity that i had open were four sold call options and here it has picked it up by itself so i recommend that you also do it the same way and of course in my order type i'm going to select trail limit order now what i'm going to explain in this video is only the trail limit order type the other order type which is somewhat similar but has less feature is trail order here and if you would understand what's a trail limit order is it will be very easy for you to deploy trail order as well but trail limit is slightly better than trail order this is exactly why I'm only going to cover trail limit. If you want to learn both and the difference between the two, I'd highly recommend you go ahead and watch the other video of mine, which I had released originally on this particular topic, where I covered the trail and trail limit order for a stock position. Once you watch that, you'll be very clear. Come back and watch this one. Okay. When you will select your trail limit, it's gonna ask for three inputs, limit, stop, and stop with a certain number against it now this trail stop is actually the trailing amount by which we want to trail and you have the option of either assigning an amount or a percentage and don't worry if it's not clear to you right now you can watch this video a couple of times and i can assure you 100 percent that you will have absolute clarity on how to deploy your trailing stop loss order right so here i'm going to trail by amount because percentage is really a little too mathematical for me and i have selected amount now i go back here and i see at what price i sold this particular option position and the price was 21.27 if you can follow my cursor right now currently this position is running a little bit of profits for me and this option is currently trading around $16 or so. So I'm running a profit of $5, which I don't want to let go of. So what I want to do is I want to trail by an amount of five. So that if let's say this call option starts rising in value, because remember I sold this call option. This is very important for you to notice when you will be trying to comprehend this example, right? I have sold this particular call option. I haven't bought it. So. When do I want to exit? When it starts going up in value, right? That's when I'll start losing money because I've sold it. Now, as I said, I want to trail by amount and I want to trail by amount of five. So I'll pick five number here. Now you have told interactive brokers that you want to trail by five. Next point. And if you would be able to understand this point, the entire concept of trailing stop loss would be clear to you. And that is this stop order here. What is this STP here? This is nothing but a value at which when this call option will start trading, the system will be instructed to send your trailing stop loss order to the exchange for execution. Let me repeat. When this level would arrive, that will be the trigger moment at which your trailing stop loss will go to exchange. Now I'm trailing by five points, right? And I want the system to release my order to exchange when the call option starts trading at 21 level, right? So I just simply say 21 here. So that's my stop point. This is not the number or the limit order at which we are going to get our fill. This is just a trigger price, just so the broker knows when it has to pass on the order to exchange for execution. 
and at what price you're going to get that execution would be determined in this value here limit this is the price at which you're happy to get your order executed and here you can either pick a number that is slightly below 21 or above 21. If you're going to pick a number that's above 21, the chances for you to get a fill are higher. So I'll select 21.25. So I'm happy to exit at 21.25, trailing my stop loss at five, and I want the broker to release this order when this call option starts trading at 21. That's what STP means, right? So. Now we know all these three inputs that we have to provide to broker while putting on our trading stop loss. All I'll have to go ahead and do now is submit. This order is live in the broker system. It hasn't been sent to the exchange yet. When will this be sent to exchange? When our stock price of 21 would arrive. We are trailing our position with $5 and you don't have to bother about limit offset. It's just the difference between your stock price and the limit price that's it if your order is passed on to the exchange upon the arrival of the level 21 you would get an exit at 21.25 if you don't want exit at this level if you want to reduce it or increase it you can do that so just keep in mind these three parameters that is your trailing amount your stock price and your limit price and you'll be good to enter your position of course the other thing that you should know while you're trading in options and it doesn't really have to be dependent upon which system you use is when you're going to exit what movement in options price would go against you in this example even though it was a call option but because i had shorted it when this call option will start rising in value that's when i would be putting my trailing stop loss and i want my trading stop loss to protect my profits or help me exit at break even and one last thing before I move on. Just because you've assigned a trailing stop loss doesn't mean that you would always be protected in that position and you will always be able to capture that profit or exit at break even, whatever. Because if there is a gap up or gap down opening, then chances are your stop losses would be jumped. So thanks a lot for being with me and I'll see you soon.